Hello learners, now we'll be learning about the remaining functional oligosaccharides. Now functional oligosaccharides are non-digestible by human gut enzymes and providing health benefits as fiber and prebiotic. The commonly known functional oligosaccharides are fructo oligosaccharides, galacto oligosaccharides, lacto sucrose oligosaccharides which we have already learned. Now in this unit we will be learning about the sucrose related oligosaccharides, lacto oligosaccharides, their properties and their health benefits. We will be also highlighting on xylo oligosaccharides and soy oligosaccharides. Now let's begin with starch related oligosaccharides. Now let's begin with starch related oligosaccharides. The starches are homopolysaccharides of glucose unit and are storage form of carbohydrate in the higher plants. There are two types of starches amylose and amylopectin. Amylose starch is unbranched homopolysaccharides of 100 of glucose units linked together by alpha 14 glycosidic bonds. Amylopectin starch is the branched homopolysaccharide of thousands of glucose unit formed in main chain linked together by alpha 14 glycosidic bonds and after every 25 to 30 units glucose unit branch point is formed by glucose unit joint to a main chain with one sick glycosidic bonds. These two types of starch are the substrate for enzymatic production of starch related oligosaccharides. There are several starch related oligosaccharides that are produced via enzymatic process from these two types of starches. They are malto oligosaccharide, trehalose oligosaccharide, isomaltase oligosaccharides, cyclodextrin, nigero oligosaccharides. Now let us learn about malto oligosaccharides which is composed of glucose units joined together by alpha 14 glycosidic bonds and are a series of linear oligosaccharides composed of 2 to 3, 4, 5, 6 glucose units. Enzymatic process for the production of malto oligosaccharides is by adding enzyme malto oligosaccharides forming amylase to starch slurry that have been liquefied by enzyme alpha amylase and to improve the production of polyunase is also added to a starch slurry to break down the alpha 1,6 glycosidic bonds in the branch starch of amylopectin. The majority of malto oligosaccharides produced by this multiple enzymatic process are the mixture of different degree of glucose polymerization of maltotriose, maltotetrose, maltopentose and maltohexose. Let us now understand the uses. Malto oligosaccharides are digestible nutrient, sweetener with the characteristics of low sweet, low calorie and have low osmotic pressure with multiple applications in food processing, beverages, dairy products, juice, jams, cakes, wine and functional foods. Malto oligosaccharides are marketed in the form of syrup or powder. The syrup form is viscous, transparent liquid and appears as colorless or yellowish that has moderate sweet taste with the application in candies and sweet syrup products. The powder form appears white and also has moderate sweet taste with the application in food products such as infant formula, healthcare products, sport drinks for athletes and also baked goods. Let us now understand the health benefits. The application of malto oligosaccharides for health benefits 
are to relax the tired nest to improve the intestinal peristaltic function and to prevent the constipation the other application for highly purified malto oligosaccharide is clinical chemistry as a substrate for measuring the blood sugar now learners will be learning about other oligosaccharides which includes xylo oligosaccharides xylo oligosaccharides are the polymer of 5 carbon of pentose sugar xylose which makes a xylo oligosaccharides different from other oligosaccharides that are polymer of 6 carbon of hexose sugars the number of xylose units in xylo oligosaccharides chemical structure that are linked together by beta 14 glycosidic bonds are vary from 2 to 10 units xylo oligosaccharides are produced enzymatically using xylan as a substrate xylan is a pentose polymer of sugar xylose present in hemicellulose structure of plant cells and can be extracted from agricultural residue using alkaline chemicals such as potassium sodium hydroxide or by using dimethyl sulfate enzymatic process for the production of xylo oligosaccharides from xylan as a substrate is by using microbial enzyme xylanase this enzyme hydrolyzes beta 14 glycosidic bonds that are linked xylose units in xylan chemical structure xylo oligosaccharides are naturally present at low concentration in fruits and vegetables bamboo honey and milk they are generally considered safe by fda in us and approved worldwide organization for application in food and pharmaceutical formulation xylo oligosaccharides are water soluble have low calorific value with sweet test that about 40% sweetness comparing to sugar sucrose and have antimicrobial properties let us understand its uses in food industry xylo oligosaccharides are incorporated in wide variety of food products such as beverages dairy products acid products salad dressings alcoholic beverages functional foods and sugarless low sugar confectioneries let us understand its health benefits in pharmaceutical industry several clinical trials have been demonstrated in variety of health benefits from xylo oligosaccharides consumption such as reducing blood sugar and lipids improving laxation and showed a beneficial changes in immune response xylo oligosaccharides are also used as prebiotic and insoluble fiber as a dietary supplement let us now learn about soy oligosaccharides soy bean are the rich in oligosaccharides with small amount the enzyme alpha glycosidase enzymes capable to break down into soy oligosaccharides into fermentable sugar This fermentable sugar enhances the growth of enteric bacteria in the colon. Currently, some scientists did not consider soy oligosaccharides as prebiotic due to conflict in published research reports on property of soy oligosaccharides as prebiotic. Some researchers have observed a significant increase only in beneficial bacteria of bifidobacterium species while others observed a significant increase in both beneficial bacteria of bifidobacterium species and pathogenic bacteria of clostridium species this disputed research reports on prebiotic property of soy oligosaccharide still needs further investigation functional oligosaccharides are low molecular weight carbohydrates 
with different degree of polymerization of monosaccharides which range from 2 to 10 units they are intermediate chemical structure in molecular weight between monosaccharides and polysaccharides due to increasing demands of this functional oligosaccharides for health benefits functional oligosaccharides are produced chemically and commercially and by enzymatic process at higher yield and lower cost comparing to extraction methods from natural sources carbohydrates are the main substrate for microbial enzyme in the production of functional oligosaccharide enzymatically at a large scale operations functional oligosaccharides with generally considered as a safe status have mild sweet taste and have certain other characteristics such as mouth feel and texture these properties have drawn the interest of food industry for the application of this functional oligosaccharides as a partial substitute for fat and sugar in food formulations let's now conclude learners non digestible oligosaccharides are complex carbohydrate of non glucon type which because of configuration of their glycosidic bonds resist hydrolysis by salivary and intestinal digestive enzymes in the colon they are fermented by anaerobic bacteria the most well known effect of most of the non digestible oligosaccharides particularly fructo oligosaccharides which stimulates the growth of bifido bacteria and thus modify significantly the composition of colonic microbiota such modification which has clearly been demonstrated in human volunteers now basically fructo oligosaccharides or oligosaccharides has a beneficial part reported by potential pathogenic bacteria within the framework of research and development of functional food such effect justifies the functional claim of fructo oligosaccharides namely bifidogenesis they are typically prebiotics this besides this bifidogenic effect the chicory functional oligosaccharides have additional nutritional properties on digestive physiological parameters like they improve colonic ph stool bulking which justify their classification as dietary fiber moreover in experimental models it has also been reported that they improve the bioavailability of essential minerals that may reduce the serum triglycerides by lowering hepato lipogenesis